And so, yesterday when I got home, I grabbed myself a snack and I popped in the DVD, the final cut of my Aaliyah movie for Lifetime. Now, I, I have to tell you something. This movie has really come together, in my opinion, as a person coming from music. I was there from the beginning when we first got to meet her, you know, through the radio and stuff. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a little tickish when it comes to my, you know, life stories. I, I want to see things exposed, not warts and all, but at least give us something. <laughs> so I'm proud to, well, first of all, you know, the movie comes on uh, Lifetime on November 15th, but, um, Okay, here's what you see. You see little Aaliyah grow up. You see when she first gets her record deal from her uncle Barry Hankerson. You see when she first meets Missy and Timberland, of which you'd be surprised. I, for whatever reason, thought that they were already really successful and accomplished, Missy and Timberland, before Aaliyah met them, but that's not the case. The movie shows that Aaliyah really put them on the map as far as, you know, working together. And she took a chance. Yes, Aaliyah took a chance on working with Missy and Timberland because her uncle Barry and the record label um, wanted her to continue with her um, second album, which was Platinum, working with R. Kelly. They wanted her to work with R. Kelly. And by the way, as promised, you will see how she meets R. Kelly. Ooh. What her father and mother's reaction was to R. Kelly. Ooh. When it ends with R. Kelly. Ooh. How she moves on to the, um, the record person, Dame Dash. But what you won't see is the plane crash. I just thought that was distasteful. I just thought that was distasteful. In conclusion, I loved it. I think you're gonna love it. The music's really good too. November 15th on Lifetime, Aaliyah. <laughs>